The future of social media app TikTok remains uncertain. This after recent reports say ByteDance, the China-based company that owns TikTok, would rather shut down the app than sell. This comes after President Biden signed into law a ban on the app unless ByteDance sells within the year. News 5's Andrew McClung joins us live in the studio. And Andrew, you found out a ban could impact some local creators. Yeah, Casey and Rebecca, from a comedian to a home inspector, Josh Mancuso and Austin Jenkins have both built major followings on TikTok. But if TikTok gets banned, both are now facing the possibility of losing a source of income. Can we go with like the Tennessee soldiers or warriors? Or no, sir. It's got to be the volunteers. That's it. Josh Mancuso has always dreamed of building a following on social media. For me, the sports comedy stuff was kind of the main, you know, my main thing. So double down on that and just kept going and yeah, it grew, grew pretty fast. He has over 100,000 followers on TikTok watching his sports comedy videos. So we finally made it to the top of the roof on the House of Horrors. For Austin Jenkins, he doesn't post comedy, rather day-to-day -day life at work. I was on a roof one day and I just, I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll just post an inspection video. It was, it was something educational. And then one thing led to another and I just posted more and more videos, you know, fast forward almost five years. Uh, almost a 2 million followers on just one app alone. Both building large followings that could disappear if TikTok gets banned, including the revenue they both make. Losing, you know, all that money would be terrible, but still hopeful that, the, 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 you know, either they divest the investors or it just doesn't happen. So there's always hope. Virginia Senator Mark Warner has been a big proponent of banning the app. We have TikTok employees who leave TikTok who indicate the data is not safe. But Jenkins disagrees. Well, I truly don't think it's about data protection or privacy or national security. The government should not be stepping in at any one point to say, you cannot have access to this app or this app has to have this investing type in order for it to be, you know, utilized in the United States. It's in my opinion, it's unconstitutional for them to be able to tell us how we control free speech. ByteDance kind of announced this weekend they don't plan on selling. What's the next steps on when this ban could go into place? I think there will be a divestiture. Uh, I think the creativity and the people who enjoy TikTok, uh, that it will be divested to a new entity. And it doesn't have to be an American company. It can be Canadian-owned, Brazilian-owned, French-owned. It just needs to not be controlled uh, by an adversarial regime that's authoritarian. Uh, and I think that kind of creativity will be able to be continued. And by giving a full year timeline, um, uh, I think um, that will allow a transaction to take place. The earliest the ban could take place would be January 2025. Kind of the smart move for any creator at this point is to diversify and make sure that you're using every platform. Mancuso and Jenkins say they both already post to other social media platforms and say it's important to do so to get more reach.